welcome link nation to another video this is going to be a video the best build and ways to kill the new infected bird mother so let's get right into it you are going to want a salt a salty level 9 toenail scimitar by far the best weapon you can use for the infected bird mother also, you're going to want a ladybird shield. Blocking strength and block free attack, okay? You want the ladybird shield. It helps out a lot. The trinket, it will change. I'll come back to that in a minute. But you are going to want a black ox helmet, roly poly blessed plate, and roly poly leggings. Now, I have them bulky just for that extra defense and to help me kill her. But if you want them to go sleek, then you go sleek. So I have three trinkets to help me fight this boss. If it's your first time fighting her, I would not worry about sticky fingers. On your first time fighting her, you are going to want shield solidifier. Now, all I'm going to say is she has three phases to this fight. For the first phase, you are going to want to use the shield solidifier. For the first and second phase, you're going to want to use the shield solidifier. Now, on phase three, you're going to want to use the fungal charm. Explosive resist. She has a lot of explosive damage and tap of weapon attacks. So you're going to want the fungal charm. I'll sh you got to break these things on the screen now to... Go ahead and get the fungal charm. And you are also going to want a bunch of smoothies and a bunch of bandages. So for this sticky fingers, I, I'm trying to get the trinket and just some extra drops. So I've been using sticky fingers until I get two drops from her. And then I switch over to the shield solidifier. Same thing, okay? Mutations. You're going to want Blade Master. If you have Blade Master on, fighting her, you will never run out of stamina. Parry Master. Parry is king, okay? You're going to want Parry Master. Meat Shield. A little bit more health. Never hurt nobody. For the last two, you're going to want Spicy Safety. It helps or not do as much damage to you. Because it's smashing resist and stabbing resist. She has a lot of those damage types. Dissection expert. You don't want that. You're going to want corporate kickback. Add dissection expert on when you want to turn that on after you kill her. So you can get more drops. But in the fight you're going to want corporate kickback. Has a chance to give you health back. Can come in key. I really recommend corporate kickback. So that is how we're going to defeat her. You're going to run a Modi Hedgehog to summon her. I've figured out. Big exclaimer. It's probably going to get patched. The Modi Hedgehog is only a thousand raw science to dupe. That is how I have so many. I went ahead and duped a bunch of them. So I do not have to go and fight every single boss one time just to summon her one time and on that one time you may die so you want to duplicate these just do some quests you'll get probably a thousand every single day i know they bumped that up in this latest update so i'm going to go ahead and tell you some tips on how to kill her she comes out of the ceiling right here okay I personally recommend you get to about right here in the water because this is where she comes down at. Okay, so she's going to crawl down. Okay, she's going to scream. And then you can start doing damage, okay? Tip number one. This perfect blocking is key. But if, if you can't perfect block, just keep that shield up, okay? Not going to do any damage to you if you just keep that shield up okay anytime you're not attacking 
anytime you are not swinging your weapon, have that shield on because she jumps and everything else in this fight. So when you're not fighting her, you're going to want to keep that shield up. The first phase is pretty easy. Okay. Taking a little bit of damage, I can tank the damage, okay? First phase, bandages should be fine on the first phase. Okay, bandages should be fine. No explosive attacks in the first damage. It's, it's basically a wolf spider. Okay, we killed her. Here comes phase two. Switch to shield solidifier. As me, I just had another thing on to turn off the extra steel item. So now I got corporate kick back on, and this is where she starts spawning things. Just back up in a corner. Okay, just back up in a corner or keep by her. Okay. I recommend trying to get out of this. The second phase. Basically the same thing. She just has that one extra attack. And she also summons little eggs. You want to try to get her away from those eggs. Because if you do not get her away from those eggs, then it's going to explode and let her regen her health back. Okay? Tip number whatever tip we are on. I really forgot. This is an intense battle. Okay, I'm trying to back it up in a corner. I took a little damage. Oh. Okay. But as well ago, you will get into some fog. Here's the egg. Here's the egg. I'll come back to the fog. Here's the egg. Just draw away from the egg. Okay. You want to try to perfect block those screams, okay? That's the one thing you really need to perfect block on are those screams. Okay, but back to the fog right there. She jumps back and there's fog. When you're in the fog, keep your shield up, okay? Thank me later. In the fog, keep your shield up, okay? There's the egg. Let's try to get her away from the egg, okay? I'm gonna back up in a corner. Because those things fail, okay? Notice, as I've said before, when I'm not attacking, I have my shield out at all times. All times have that shield out. Okay, you... Usually, if you keep her in a corner, you can do some damage when she spawns that egg in and she does a scream. Usually, she does it side by side. She'll jump away, just turn to her and block, okay? If you turn to her and block, you usually parry it. Okay, so yeah, perfect block that. We about got the second phase done. Okay, she laid that egg. That's okay, she's gonna jump back. Fog. So yeah, I kept that shield up and that fog came. If you got some extra health back, that's okay. Okay, that phase is done. Heal up between phases. Because she's coming back harder than ever. This phase, phase three, pretty self-explanatory, but this is the hardest phase. It's super fast. If you're just a master at perfect blocking, then go ahead and block it. But if not, just keep your shield up. You see right there? She turned away. Oh, wait. I didn't have my fungal charm on. Make sure that is on. Okay. You're just gonna have to keep doing damage to her here. Just keep up beside her. Besides when she jumps back. Just keep up beside her to do the damage. It goes in a pattern. It's usually flash, slow, semi-fast, okay? So, see, in that fog is you couldn't really see her. 
see she went to the side. I didn't perfect block that, so I kind of got stunned right there for a second. I don't think she summons eggs in this stage. I've not came across it. See, she usually gets to your, just your side. So just turn to it. Okay, you can usually parry that last hit. And the screams are pretty easy to parry. There's an egg. No, it's not really an egg, it's just an explosive. But you see, I've done a lot of damage to her. But she keeps up with you because all these explosions just keeps her kills up. Okay? So just keep on top of her. Remember, when she, when she does that bad attack, Fog, keeping it up. But remember, she does that fog attack. Just remember. Block. Right there. Just keep the shield up, okay? Remember, she does one extra bite at the end of it. Okay? And I'm saying this a lot. And I'm basically just saying the same thing over and over and over again. But if you get this fight down... You can take her out and get the new weapons. And it takes a lot of killing her to fight her. This is my fourth time fighting her and I don't even have enough to craft the full armor set. Let alone the throne. Let alone the stuff. Let alone the, the mount, okay? It's a lot of fighting. That's okay. Say so, okay, I like this fight, okay? We've got her halfway down. But if, if we don't keep her on this, I'm just gonna heal right back up. I'm just gonna heal right back up. Okay, back up in a corner, fog, keep it out. And I feel like this is a perfect time to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have grounded episodes and grounded guides coming. We just started it, seven subscribers. Trying to get more. Okay, just if you want to learn the best way to collect materials. Okay, okay, she's got me down a lot. Okay, I don't know how she's done this much damage to me. Just healing up. You say I'm not keeping my shield up, but I'm healing up. We're back in the fight. This is one of the longer ones I've had, okay? It usually changes up every time. But like I was saying, I think I'm gonna do some material guides next after this episode comes out. Because I've been looking at like the best path and material guides and where to get them and you know, I've just not found it when you're making mega builds you need a lot of stuff so like and subscribe for those ones to come out and we're about to have our dead here For the spot, the setup and everything should be pretty easy to get if you're just in the game and all through boss fights. Okay. Let me know y'all's opinions on this update. This one, the Birdmother one, not the 
the 1.2 update because this one was a surprise and I am absolutely enjoying this fight. I mean, I've not got bored of getting this fight. Okay, I don't know what she does. There she is. Okay. Come on. Let's go ahead and die. I was just using my fist though, if you caught that. And she is dead. So if you use those tips, always block, block in the fog. She turns to you, get that. You use these trinkets. The fight is pretty easy to get. So, remember, always remember, turn on dissection expert before you loot the body. You may get the trinket. No trinket that time, but that is how you beat the infected broodmother. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I will see y'all next time.